Hi, so today I wanted to do a video just saying thank you to a lot of the people who have actually sent stuff in for free or close to free to help try and improve the production quality of this channel. Let's start off with the microphone here. So as a lot of you know, I don't really care much about audio or lighting or thumbnails in my YouTube videos. Like I got this email recently from somebody from YouTube going on and on about how you would love to talk to me, love to call me. I'm thinking... They want to give me more money. They want to renegotiate my rates. They want me to be exclusive to you. Oh, boy. And, you know, that's what everybody thinks when they get these, these emails. And the reality of it is they're like, so if you want more viewers, you could add more detailed descriptions and you could add thumbnail pictures. And it's like, man, I thought this was for real. Oh, well. But as you guys know, I don't really put much effort into that because... I'm doing these videos kind of at the end of the day at one or two or three in the morning. My priority is kind of, you know, am I lucid enough to actually explain this and do this versus do I care about thumbnails or lighting and things of that nature? But again, as, as this progresses, you know, over 10,000 subscribers, I probably should care about this stuff a little more than I do. <laughs> so the first thing that I got here was a DPA 4066 microphone. So the first microphone that I was using originally was the one built into the camcorder. That's not terrible. It's kind of terrible, but it's really terrible when it's across the room from you, especially in a room that's not acoustically treated. It just sounds like cock and balls. So then I got that Shure WH-20, which pretty much sounds like a, I'm a piece of paper, but it was better because it was right next to my mouth. Then, you know, Jessa needed a setup for herself that didn't sound like shit. So I had, I sent her that so I'd have an excuse to buy this Shure SM30 or Shure SM35. This is, yeah, this is the Shure SM35. The reason I, cho I choose Shure products is because they, well, if they sound like crap, they kind of sound conservatively like crap. Like, they don't try to, even on the cheap end, they don't try to do more than what they should, you know? I mean, you buy some of these $100 or $200 condenser microphones, and you will get the most sibling, skinny, crappy-sounding, noisy piece of shit that money can buy. Whereas you buy a Shure product, it may not be the best thing in the world, but for what it is trying to do, it actually kind of accomplishes it. The second reason, cheap. Third reason, they're very durable. And you know, anybody who watches how I treat my own stuff would know why durability is really important to me. It was great for like 50 or 60 bucks, besides the, the constant plosives and the, the siblings come, and the sounding like you're constantly underwater. And even if you move it around and try to get rid of the proximity effect, then you go back to sounding like a piece of paper and this terrible siblings. And it's just... It's a good $50 microphone, otherwise it's fairly awful and garbage. So Zapro DK actually offered to send me this DPA4066 microphone for the cost of shipping, which is pretty amazing. So this microphone, when you Google it, it's like, this is like a $650, $750 microphone. So that's pretty cool. And again, even if you can't hear the sonic difference, I can hear the sonic difference right away. Even if you can't tell that, what I can tell is that this microphone sounds good right out of the gate, whereas that one, to even sound remotely close to this one, so for me to sound, not sound like I'm underwater, is about 15 minutes of EQ, compression, filtering, and all sorts of other junk. Because that, right out the gate, sounds like just complete garbage. And the only catch with this thing is that it didn't come with... It came with the wireframe pretty much in one piece. You had, you, I actually had to bend it. So when you buy it, it comes pretty much set up so it's right by your mouth and you can just move it. I had to custom bend this thing. And also, it didn't come with a connector. I had a broken XLR cable at my house. I actually didn't have the entire housing. I just had a few pieces of it. This is not even a complete XLR on the end. I just soldered uh, the, you know, the hot and the ground directly to this and tied the ground, uh, pin three to ground since it's not balanced. And then I pretty much, I, I strain relieved it so it would stop breaking in Captain Tape. So yeah, so if the people at Avatar Studios that were teaching me how to do this stuff saw this now, they, they would hope that I would stop mentioning their name because th this is not what I was taught how to do. This is what I did because I knew I wouldn't have time to go out and order an XLR connector. And honestly, it's, it's fine. It's great. See, it's already open, so when I break it and destroy it, I'll, you know, it'll be less work. And this thing, this is amazing. This microphone sounds absolutely amazing. Uh, thank you very much to Zapro DK for sending that. For the cost of shipping, very, very nice. Again, this is, this is, like, this is one of the best head-worn microphones that money can buy. And, and, and it's here. That's awesome. Second thing are these flux dispensers. So I ran out of flux dispensers at, uh, because of Practical Board Repair School. They, they vanished into the sixth dimension. And now I have these. So for the, for the whole last month, I've been using... Uh, you know, like the top of the Amtec flux containers, it has a little plastic thing before you get to what's on the bottom, but there's always kind of flux left over on the top. I've been pretty much using that and just scooping it out with my tweezers and cleaning my tweezers with alcohol before and after I do that just to make sure that I wouldn't, you know, contaminate the flux underneath with any junk from my tweezers. 
That is not how to use flux. Like this is good. And the thing is, I knew where to buy flux syringes. I knew that the flux syringe that I buy, I would have to buy from Antec and mail order over the phone, which I don't, I don't feel like doing that right now. And um, and yeah, this is this is pretty cool. I just didn't know where to buy the empty ones that were the ones that I liked, with the you know the plunger this way, and I, I just because like I don't know what to call it, but you know. He did, so he got it. And that's the thing, it's not even the, the spending the money, it's not even the going online to buy it, it's, I know what I want, but what is that called and where do I buy it? I know what I want, it's in my head, I have a picture of it, I know how to use it, but what is it called? That's so That's been the problem so often with a lot of these little things that I need. And it's cool when they get solved. Like, I remember the, the magnet wire that I want. I knew what I wanted, but what is it called? Or for the jumper wire, like, if the, the, the battery wire that I use for running traces to an ISL, like, I knew what I wanted, what is it called? Did you first know that you get that out of a battery wire? Did you first know that if you want that for trace repair on a 5S that you get that out of a vibrator coil? You know what you want, but where do you get it and what is it called? That, that's kind of the hard part that I often don't want to deal with at 1 in the morning. So, Peter sent the... Oh, don't tell me I forgot if your name is Peter or James. Motherfuck. Okay, well, I got this stuff like a week and a half ago and I've been trying to do a video on it ever since. So I read the card about a week and a half or two weeks ago. I'm pretty sure the name was Peter and not James. I am incredibly sorry if I've forgotten your name. I would love. I know that that card is also in the sixth dimension right now. But to the person who sent me this, I appreciated it at the time. I still appreciate it, and thank you very much for real. So again, uh, right after the week of practical board repair school, I come back, and two of my employees are on vacation for two weeks. So yeah, I haven't had time to do a damn thing. So. All the iPhone repair, all the selling people, all the shipping, all the stuff that I didn't used to have to do and the general repair I have to do while selling people, while talking to everybody who walks in, while fixing every motherboard that comes into the store, while fixing every board that came in while I was away at practical board repair school. Isn't this fun? You may have noticed that my desk is empty, my microscope and my multimeter and all that stuff is not here. That's because it's sitting in the front, at the front desk. So while I'm at the front counter, every time uh, you know I, somebody walks in, I will stop my motherboard repair, get out of my microscope and go, hi, how can I help you? So yeah, that's why that's not there. And that's also why I didn't do this video two weeks ago when I first got all this stuff to begin with, which probably would have been the nice thing to do. Now, what's next comes from somebody named Civil Lizard. And this is, again, you can see I haven't even thrown away the paper yet. I haven't even gotten to finishing all these Ascentech machines from that cock and balls company that sells all the shit that they tried to fix and failed. You, uh, okay, this is pretty cool. So I got a Sennheiser MKE 600 microphone. Again... Really cool stuff. Uh, I got batteries. I got a little thing to plug it in. Could just this. Not only this guy actually thought, what if he doesn't have an XLR camera? I have an XLR camcorder. What if he doesn't have an XLR camera? I, there's actually an adapter here, on this table. I got batteries. I got a battery charger. But ultimately, the coolest thing here of all this stuff is this light that I've actually yet to plug in. That I want to plug in and show you. Again, this is a LED light that's pretty much made for filming. And you know, the lighting in my office really does suck. So, these, the lights that I have in my office, they're LED, but they're that cheap, bullshit, first-generation LED where it tries to combine purple and yellow to make white. And they, that, needless to say, that shit sucks. That's, not, that, that's garbage lighting for filming, which is why so many of these videos I kind of look like, uh, I look like a, I'm in Antarctica. So let's, let's turn this on. Probably going to fuck up my video on my camera because I have it pointed right at the camera at full blast, but I just want to see how this thing works. Okay, on... And whoa, this is fucking cool. And that is real white, too. That's not that bullshit white that's in my office. Yeah, I'm definitely fucking up my video production by doing this, but it comes with a tripod and all sorts of stuff. I mean, this, this, is, just, this is just absolutely fucking amazing. And you can even control the, you know, which rows of LEDs light up. And I have a lot of learning to do to figure out how this thing works, but... Still, this is so, oh my, I'm going to have fun with some of this stuff, like, this is going to be cool. So, this is from Civil Lizard, uh, thank you very much, Civil Lizard, for sending this thing, um, just say, let me see what happens if I turn the lighting off in my office and I just have this thing pointed away or something. Again, obviously, I have to set up the tripod and all that for this to be useful, because without, you know, without using this, this is a really cool tool, but without using it properly, it's pretty much wasted, but this is pretty cool, so if I, like, hang... Have this thing pointed up. 
pointed to the side. Pointed at me. Ah. Oh, wow. I look like I'm on fire. This is pretty cool. I'm going to have some fun with this. See? Okay, see, obviously I have to put it up there and kind of point it down or figure out how this works, but when I'm right over here, like, my face is actually... You can actually tell that I'm made of, uh, you know, flesh and blood and that I'm human and that I'm not just pure blue, like when my shitty ceiling lights are on. This thing is fucking amazing. Like, really fucking amazing. Thank you very much. Um, this is awesome. Again, I really should have done these videos when I actually got this stuff. I just haven't had the fucking time but yeah you can you, oh i'm back to the i'm back to being blue and green and purple and still thank you very much for everything that you've sent i really appreciate it